fabulous. Love how you do it. <laughs> fabulous. Fabulous blue bombers. Fabulous. Fabulous. The Fabulous Blue Bomber Show on Shaw TV. Brought to you by Moxie's. Now here's your host, Kim Babbage. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Fabulous Blue Bomber Show on Shaw TV. I'm Kim Babbage, rocking Rudy Gowers on camera. Thank you for waiting it out for the bye week, during the bye week. We had a couple of days off, the Bombers had a couple of days off, and now we're in the playoffs. And I gotta tell you, this week, we don't even really know what we have coming up. We weren't really prepared because it's been a long time since we've shot the show during the playoffs. Just kidding, we're prepared. Uh, we do have a mixed bag of things for you. I did want to point out, I can't see, oh, you can kind of see Pierre-Luc LeBay, number 47, the one man on the field wearing shorts and no socks. It's not warm out here, Pierre. Don't know if anybody let him in on that. It's a little chilly. To wit. Um, finally, the bomber scarf that I've been knitting all season long since sometime around July, I finished it. So if anybody had been wondering, a couple of people had been asking about it, it's done. And uh, I make one a year. So if anybody wanted to order one, you're going to be waiting a long time. <laughs> anyway, uh, obviously this Sunday is the biggest day in bomber land in a very, very long time. Hamilton will come to town. We'll face Kevin Glenn and that crew to see if we head to the Grey Cup in Vancouver. I just want to say that Kevin Glenn has a knack for beating us at very important times. However, Kevin Glenn also has a knack for not putting together two strong games in a row. So we'll see what happens this Sunday. Be here. If you don't already have your tickets, you're probably out of luck anyway. But if you can be here, try to be here. It's going to be amazing. The last ever game ever, ever, ever. Forever, ever, forever, ever. Here at Canada and Stadium, it's going to be wild and amazing. And we need the 13th man on the field. So here we go. Fabulous Blue Bomber Show Playoff Edition. I don't know what's up. They've ferried us into the visitor's locker room because it is so cold outside the players don't want to stand outside to do interviews, which is understandable. So you see behind me, uh, all the reporters were just talking to Ian Logan about his burst appendix. He's doing much better, looks like he's going to play on the weekend. We'll talk to Ian about his moustache in a few minutes. But first, some other interviews. I will take any opportunity ever, ever to be taller than Doug Brown. This happens like once, twice in a lifetime for me and, and really close. only with special circumstances. It's pretty close. You're not really that much taller. No, I'm really not. Okay, so Doug Brown, playoff edition. It's been a while, A. Uh, you and I have actually been around here just about as long. You started the Bombers when? 2001. 2001, yeah. So I've been covering the team just about as long. So we kind of share start? a bit of a kinship. Um, my first year in the media in Winnipeg was in 97, but I wasn't covering the Bombers right away. When did you start covering so the Bombers? I think maybe 2000, actually. 2000? Yeah. Year before. Yeah. Oh, okay. Those are the golden years. Those were the golden years. Yes. So playoff edition, how excited are you? Uh, this is great to have an opportunity like this. Obviously the, the first time we had an Eastern final bye and uh, a one game opportunity to get to the Grey Cup was actually my first year. So it's kind of ironic that it's 2011, 10 years later, and uh, I could finally have that opportunity again. It's taken a long time. You know what's nice? I'm taller than everyone. Like this is fantastic. When do you ever look up at an interviewer? You just don't, but you know, it's nice. To, <laughs> I mean, you. That's how I see my world though, right? Hi, so I don't know why he keeps doing that. He's not getting enough attention today or something. So, so this coming up this Sunday, and Terrence Edwards, feel free to join us here. The elder statesman of the Blue Bombers. I wanted to speak to them together, but uh, you were being busy interviewed over there. Um, so the two elder statesman now this could be your I'm very I'm third your third who's yes. the second Svekovic oh Sveti of course yes Sveti is the old guy on the team this could be uh hopefully not hopefully it's a second last but this could be your last game as a blue bomber coming up on Sunday thoughts Oh, you just don't even pay attention to that. You know, you have to prepare and go through your processes like you would any other game. You can't get all wrapped up in the sentimental, uh, sentimental things and, and get caught up in, in, in memories and, and historical relevance and stuff like that. You just want to go out there and uh, business as usual is, is the way you want to approach it. So could we possibly see you play again next year? Do you think there's a possibility? And will you let us know? Obviously, you'd have to let us know in the offseason, but is there a chance? There's a chance. Like, you could see me play another sport next year. <laughs> uh, definitely not professional football, but you could see me play something else. For sure. Yeah. Rugby, sure. beach volleyball. Bucks, you will be back with us next year. Hundred dollar wager. Okay, yeah, you know what, what? In what capacity? You will be the organization next year. <laughs> <laughs> you, in some way, shape, or form, you are going to be with us. Yeah, that's On true. the field, though, do you think? Yes, he's gonna be on the field. I bet you. I bet him a hundred bucks you know, that he's gonna be here. I already my season tickets at the new stadium, so he's just playing the he's playing the angles right there. Okay, I'm keeping this video. We'll keep this tape, Rudy. And next year, when Doug Brown suits up, number 97 yeah. hits the field again, then Terrence Edwards will get a hundred dollars from Doug Brown. Exactly. Or, he's gonna be. Or vice versa. When I'm sitting there in my lawn chair watching him in training camp, he's gonna come over and pay me, right? <laughs> 
Put, I'm gonna pay you a boost of juice. In my lemonade glass, I want hundred dollars. Right? All right. Well, Doug Brown, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna get off this stool and talk to Terrence here. Okay. So thank you very much for this. No, this that was that would be ridiculous. <laughs> so the question now for you is: You played with Kevin Glenn throwing you passes for an awfully mm -hmm. long time. Is Kevin Glenn gonna step up and be, uh, you know, the Grey Cup Kevin Glenn that we've seen, or which Kevin Glenn do you think we're gonna see this weekend? Which Kevin Glenn I want to see this yes, weekend? Yes. Which Kevin Glenn do you want to see this weekend? <laughs> I want to see the one where Coach prematurely takes him out and put. Quentin poured in, and I see him, his face boiling on the sideline because if that's happening, that means we're winning. Yes, that is very true. Now, uh, you and I have been around here both a long time as well. Right. I was talking to Doug about that, uh, but it's been a while since we've done the playoff thing. So uh, how are you feeling? Are you prepared? Are you ready? What's uh, what's the feeling this year? Because last year was kind of sad at this time of year. This year, not so sad. Yes, last year, this time I was home on my couch in 60-degree weather in Atlanta. Mm. But this year, I'm here, ready to go. I think the team is ready. It's a long time coming. Uh, well, 08 since the last time we've been into the playoffs, and 07 since we've been playing this late into the season. So it's a long time coming, but I think this team is really in focus to try to go make a run at it. All right, no matter what, we're going to see you next year, right? Yes, I'll of be course. back. Right. I'll be back next year. Good you right. can bet $100 on Okay, that. Let's, let's bet $100 on that, okay. just in case something should happen. I want to <laughs> put my bets down now. Thanks, Terrence. <laughs> no problem. No win the ball. It is time for a Movember update, and we had to talk to really two of the stars of Movember, Ian Logan and Brady Brown. So how is it going? You both are well facial haired. It's only been a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we wish we would have shaved uh, the rest of it off before we filmed this, but uh, it's coming in pretty thick. You know, I'm pretty comfortable with how it's coming. Yes. Well, sorry, I was going to say, I didn't warn them that they were going to be on camera today, and so and Brady was complaining uh, that yeah. this is not a good representation, but it's just a lot of facial hair. It is a lot, but on game day, you'll see in high def a beautiful mustache from me and Ian. We'll be shaving it <laughs> right. before the game. So yeah. Now, I understand also, not only are you two looking really fantastic, you've raised a lot of money already. Yeah, we've, uh, well, that's what it's all about, right? Making awareness for prostate cancer. And uh, if you go to our Movember website, you can donate and help the cause. And we've got the address, of course, right on the screen here. Right. Yeah. And, and we're auctioning off three Eastern's, Eastern right. final tickets for the highest bidder for one of Ian's Movember page, so. Ooh, so you gotta get on that like right, right now. now. Thursday is when we're, uh, Thursday night. yeah, Thursday night. Brilliant, and I thought you were gonna say we're gonna auction off our hair after he's shaven. <laughs> Nobody, wants, Nobody that. wants that. Nobody wants that. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> now I have to ask you guys something because I was thinking about this. Men often, the answer when their women in their lives say, hey, let's do this. Guys say, I don't wanna do that, I'm gonna look stupid. Why is it that for the whole month of November, you're all willing to look stupid? I guess I know it's for a good cause, but do you realize that now after the fact, anytime you want to say, oh, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to look stupid, any woman in your life can now say to you, uh, November, do you realize what you've done to yourself? <laughs> well, I think I've gotten better looking, actually, with my, my mustache, and I think Ian will look better looking, too. We might keep this all year long, so. <laughs> it's a new style. It is? Yeah. All right. Keeping it forever. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to hope. Oh, That's the reaction women usually get, so I mean, maybe, maybe that can't uh -huh. be it. Okay, well, we want to catch up with you guys at the end. We'll, in some way, shape, or form, give everybody a final update of these guys uh, at the end of Movember. Hopefully, you'll have great cup rings and really bad mustaches, so uh, fingers are crossed. Yeah. Thank you. All yeah. right. So that just about does it for the fabulous Blue Bomber show on Shaw TV. I just want to grab Abby Khan for a sec. Pop over here. Awesome. Can I take you away from awesome. Madam Wozniak? You were just about, but you were walking by. Sorry, Adam. What's up? And I just wanted to say, hey, good luck hey. this weekend. You're Thank back you. in the lineup. And I, I heard you telling Bob Irving that uh, all this stuff and all the young players and going into the playoffs, you feel young again. I feel great. I feel like I'm 21 again. Do you really? How come? Well, because A, I've been off for three weeks. So, <laughs> That's nice. So my body feels really good. Uh, and B, there's just there's a lot of energy and excitement. And, and the young guys uh, bring that excitement in because... They just want to play. They just want to go have fun. They just want to win, and, that, and that's what the old guys want to do. So we, we were, it's, it's a perfect marriage. We were ha happy. Okay, so here's the fear from some of the fans: is that you've had a week off and you lose a bit of momentum and maybe a bit of focus. How? What do you? What do you tell fans that they can be confident about that that's not the case? I counter to that and say, if anything, we've gained more momentum because we're hungrier to play. Okay. Watching that game on the weekend was painful because we want to play. Uh, so we're hunger, we're healthy. Everyone's, everyone's, you know, with those nicks and bumps they had and the bruises and the achy knees and achy backs are all gone now. So everyone's gonna be fresh. Uh, everyone's excited and hungry and we're at home. Okay. So I tell the fans, not a chance. Okay, so one quick tip, if you have any tips from Abi Khan for how to best enjoy this game and by enjoy, I mean stay warm on Sunday because it's not going to be warm. What is one tip you can give everybody for staying warm in the stands? Staying warm in the stands? Well, 
Uh, oh, I thought this was going to be obvious. Uh, gain Sheer 300 really loudly. pounds. I was going to say be 300 pounds, but I don't know if anyone <laughs> can gain that much weight. And <laughs> okay, no, we of course, I mean, the number one thing is to cheer. Have fun. I mean, yell yell like it's the last game. Oh, it is the, it last, is the last game. It is the last game at Canada in Stadium. Yeah. So uh, for the people listening out there, for the players on the field, it is devastating to hear you guys yell. Okay. When the, the offense, other team. the other team, when yep. the offense is on the field and you can't hear what your quarterback is saying, I can't hear you when we're this close to each other on the field. Awesome. So louder the better. Kevin Glenn will crumble under pressure, and their offense line will crumble, and the Bombers will win. Awesome. Okay, that's a guarantee from Abi Khan. So I'm going to let you go back to the locker Thank room. You. We'll see you on Sunday. Good see luck, Sunday. Thank you. Uh, folks. One thing you can do, and I probably shouldn't have picked this up off the ground because it's really gross. But these are hand warmers. You can get them at the dollar store. You can get them anywhere. Get a couple of these for the games. Actually, get four. Get two for your mitts and two for your boots. And that is my tip for you for staying warm in the stands this Sunday. Now, I just want to—I dropped that because it's disgusting. I just want to mention they've clearly swept off the field. You can see all the little rubber pellets on the sideline here so the field is brilliant and green they're putting all the logos over here on the side or rather on the field they're getting everything painted on it is a going to be amazing here on Sunday you want to be here at Canada and Stadium get your tickets if you already haven't and as Abby said cheer as loud as you possibly can very quickly our giveaway call us at 480-3500 or email us at shawtvwinnipeg at shaw.ca leave your name your telephone number and simply answer this question which fabulous blue bomber show segment of 2011 was your favorite Name an actual segment that you saw that you loved on the show this year. And uh, if you have one, we'll give you a call and get you that $50 gift card courtesy of the Bomber Store. Alan, Maria, the whole gang down there, they've been wonderful, us to, wonderful to us this year. We really appreciate it. That is all for this week. Let us hope we see you next week as we head out to Vancouver. Fingers are crossed.